other than those they are also carrying capacity by the potential environment resistance blah 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 those we will see in detail okay let's start with the first one that is population size it just gives us the number or the total weight okay let's say for example there are 7 billion people on earth yes are those 7 billion in the same place in the same island or is it dispersed in a different way right so out of the 7 billion 1 billion is uh, what to say of uh, what is it uh, 5 or 6 billion is only chinese and indian okay <laughs> just think about that no and the rest are the rest of the world right so it doesn't give you a true picture so if you think the population of earth is 7 billion you will think it's all over you know one person in one place one person in one place but no it depends on so many environmental factors right like let's say in the north and the south pole no one can stay right or in the temperate zones like canada and all norway and all you still you cannot stay it's way too cold no it goes up to minus 10 minus 20 degrees but india china our climate and our soil is rich our climate is bearable uh, you will not die of extreme cold you will not die of extreme heat so that's why there are more people here okay so the population number does not give the true true uh, picture okay what about the biomass okay population size also could be biomass biomass means um, uh, uh, suppose there are trees okay so there are trees in one forest so you cut all those trees and you measure the weight how much is it is it one ton two ton five ton 100 tons that is your population size okay or we are in a grassland community you collect all the grasses there all the herbs all the shrubs and you measure them okay so it doesn't give you the exact idea about the population ecology then the next one is population density okay it's just like uh, size only number or biomass but where it should be per unit area or if it's a biomass uh, or it's a weight it should be per unit volume at a given time okay so it's not like i can collect all the grass of the entire golf link and measure the weight so at a particular unit area no in one quadrant that is my unit of measurement 50 by 50 centimeter square then i will um, uproot all the grass and i will measure i can still do that right so it could be two to three kgs no so uh, a new word we have taken is that uh, per unit area at a given time okay that is uh, unit area per time all right uh, 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 like here unit area is your 50 centimeter okay means uh, at a particular time will be per per hour per second like that okay then population density can be used to find out the population size if the size of the area under study we already know it okay it can also be measured according to the size of the individual and the nature of the habitat okay so according to the size of individual suppose we have to study a forest ecology we'll take it per hectare okay then if it's grassland we can take it uh, per quadrant this is per 50 centimeters square so depending on the size and the nature of the habitat we can find the density then it is indicated in two dimensions for terrestrial organisms that is centimeter square like remember this one 50 centimeter 50 centimeter so this is 50, uh, 50 centimeter square okay or if it's by weight it should be uh, per liter you know uh, per milliliter or like that no uh, meter cube if it's a cubic meter like that according if it's a weight okay because uh, suppose you want to take how much uh, organisms are there if you just uh, take a bucket of water and you uh, uh, just take uh, suppose you went to watch lake and you just took one bucket of water so that will be volume no so it'll be centimeter cube or meter cube like that so what is the formula the density is the total number 
in the given area divided by the size of the area under study. Okay, so this is the formula. Total number okay, of the species in a given area divided by size of the area under study. So it's number, number divided by size, okay. Total number divided by total size, okay. I think it's easy only this formula. It's a basic formula that you have been doing in physics, no, since class 11 and 12. Density you have been calculating, okay. So the population density is never static, means it always changes, no, with change in season, change in time. It varies from time to time and from area to area. For example, more plants and insects will occur in the rainy season than during the dry season. Okay, so it changes from area and time. Because more resources are available to them during the rainy season. Other population attributes such as carrying capacity, environmental resistance, etc. also influence the population di uh, density. Okay. So, uh, other than season... It depends on the environment also, on the birth rate also. Like for example, um, uh, you cannot compare a lion and a butterfly. No, butterfly will produce so many eggs. Lion will produce maybe uh, two cups at a time, two, three cups at a time. Okay, So it depends on the natality means the ability to give birth and the mortality means the ability to die. Okay, uh, Depending on uh, resistance of the environment. Okay. So, uh, this diagram just shows you which uh, attributes of the population they directly influence the population density. So, the environment uh, influences the density, the growth, the carrying capacity, the biotic potential, the uh, man-made and, and the natural factors, then the age of the population, etc. Now, there are two types of population studies that uh, density that we can study. They are the crude density and the specific density. Okay, the crude one, the crude density is just the number or the weight per unit of total space. Okay, it's just the number per space or the biomass by the space, by the area. But if you want to go for specific or ecological or economic density, you have to uh, talk about which space is habitable. Okay, Like I told you, in the earth, no, there are 7 billion people. Doesn't mean that all the 7 billion are staying in Europe, in one small island. No, you have to see which one is habitable. Okay, like uh, It's not like in, in Mount Everest. Uh, half a billion will stay in, uh, I mean, half a million stay in Mount Everest, half will stay in uh, Antarctica, half in uh, Greenland, just because uh, to make it equal. Okay, so that is a very rough uh, density calculation. Okay, it's a crude. But if you want to see the specific density or the ecological density, we have to see which is actually habitable. Okay. See, out of North and uh, North America, the habitable part is the lower part. No, the uh, Mexico, then the United States, and the lower part of Canada. Okay, that's a very good example. Is the upper part that is the mostly uh, eighty percent of Canada is uninhabitable. It's way too cold. No, so those is your uh, that is your uh, specific density. Okay, it is the density per unit of habitat space. That is. The available area that can actually be colonized by the population. Okay. The distinction between the two types of density become important because organisms, they grow clumped in groups and are not uniformly distributed. Okay. We always tend to clump ourselves into groups for protection, for security, for environment, everything. No? So, example... Some plants are found in more crowded and shady places, right? Because they cannot bear the extreme sunlight or extreme wind, right? Okay. 
okay so here you will see the graph for the crude density and you can see the actually the graph for the ecological density now this is a uh, image of a pond okay of a pond and um, this one oh, one minute this one is the the uh, bottom of the pond okay the ocean pond bottom of the lake or ocean whatever there uh, fish cannot live right so we talk about the crude density this entire place is oh wait let me clear it this entire place is available water that the fish can inhabit okay so if you talk about the crude density we will think that the fish they will survive here okay means means they will swim no 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 one one minute one minute 